It wasn't that long ago that a Xiaomi phone was off my list for potential daily drivers, just for being a Xiaomi phone. The cameras weren't very good, the skins were ugly and unintuitive, and you could pretty much kiss your Android updates goodbye. But a lot of that has changed, and the Mi 11 Ultra looks like a serious contender for daily driver. I gotta say, right off the hop, I love this little dick at Huawei. You see that? Mi 11 Ultra, with easy access to the Google apps you use most. <laughs> you can tell who their primary competitor is, right? Look at that. Look how hard that was. A Type-C to three and a half mil adapter. Rest of the industry, take notes. Maybe don't take notes on the pretty unexceptional included case. This is something that's always a challenge with anything but basically an Apple or Samsung phone. Unless the first party accessories are excellent, you're pretty much stuck with kinda junky options. But the phone itself, this is where things get really interesting. This thing is freaking top spec. We're talking Snapdragon 888, up to 12 gigs of RAM, up to 256 gigs of storage. And good Lord, that is not a camera bump. That is a camera mountain. It's, it's at the point, it's at the point where it's not, this isn't even a camera bump anymore. It's like having another smaller phone attached to the back of your phone. I mean, look at this phone, it's got a camera, it's got a full, you know, glass front. It's got a screen. That's right. There's a little 250 nit. I think it's like a 1.1 inch screen on the back. And it serves a couple of functions. You can use it as a preview for your selfies. So we're gonna check that out in a moment, as well as as an always on display to just give you notifications, I guess, if you're the kind of monster that lays your phone face down on the desk because you're not familiar with the basic concept that little micro grains of crap that sit on the top of things are what scratch your freaking screen. Oh, well, conveniently, Xiaomi has included a built-in screen protector that contours reasonably well to the curved glass. And I didn't wanna to dock too many marks for the camera bump because the included camera is really impressive, okay? We've got three lenses on the back. We've got a telephoto that does 5X optical zoom, that's a 48 megapixel camera. We've got an ultra wide that's also 48 megapixels and a 50 megapixel main shooter. But I mean, it's, it's thick enough that I could see this getting caught on your pocket, you know? Like let's do, I mean, it's been a while since I've done a pocket test, but Andy, you ready for a pocket test? Okay, let's do a, do a pocket test here. Ooh. It's not that smooth, you know? Getting it out's easy though. Okay, let's say let's say I was more of a camera down kind of kind of gentleman. Okay, that definitely goes in easier. Okay, what if I was a, a left mm. See, as long as I'm coming around as long as I'm coming around for Oh, that's still a little. Oh boy. I'm thinking especially the ladies with tighter pockets. We might have to get a lady. Special agent Janice is here to investigate the usability. Oh. The usability of this phone. So, uh, here, do you notice anything? It's heavy and it has this extra thickness. It, it does, it has, <laughs> I think extra thickness is a good way to describe it. I can try my back pocket. That's pretty typical, just like sticking out. Yeah, but did it go in easily? Um, no, well coming out actually was worse because of the, the oh, way the Oh, because of the, the way the so, seam yeah, works. The way, when I took it out, it definitely caught on the, Going in is fine, coming out is slightly weird. Right. I don't feel like it's gonna rip my pockets off. Got it, okay, all right, yeah. thank you. No problem. Thank you very much. Things staring at you. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh. Holy crap, the balance of this phone? It is very top heavy. Like, does that, does that look like about 50% Andy? About halfway? <laughs> Let's take a short break from the chonkiness though and talk about charging for a moment. It's got a 5,000 milliamp hour battery, includes a 67 watt charger. Apparently it even supports 67 watts wirelessly. I'm more of a slow charging kind of guy, but your mileage may vary on that. Okay, there's no putting this off then. Normally I'd wanna spend time now talking about the 120 hertz display. Oh, 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 so smooth, oh. 
Okay, that is really smooth. Okay, it runs at 3200 by 1400 resolution, so super high res. But we gotta go straight to the camera because if you're gonna have this gigantic freaking hill on it, it better have a really impressive camera, you know? This video is brought to you by Grammarly. Grammarly is a digital writing assistant that helps you with your grammar and spelling suggestions. Let me tell you, as an employer, flip and use Grammarly on your job application, okay? It's simple to install. It's just a browser extension. So you just log in and start typing. And they've even got Grammarly Premium, which provides more in-depth feedback on your writing. We recommend checking out the vocabulary and clarity suggestion tools because they'll help save you time by making your writing more compelling by finding synonyms for overused words and completely removing unnecessary ones. So save time on your work and emails with Grammarly and I mean, use it for everything because you know, you sh just should. So go to Grammarly.com slash short circuit and you can get 20% off Grammarly premium today. Just creating an account though, that's free. We're gonna have it linked down below. Ooh, that was a long shutter delay. Tastefully small hole punch though. That's a good thing. It's not actually, hey, there it is. It's peekaboo. Um, okay, let's switch over to the 5X. Oh, okay. That is a sharp telephoto. And actually a pretty pleasing natural bokeh to it as well. How about the ultra wide? You can really see the studio here. Interestingly, Andy's life comes back into his skin a little bit more with the ultra wide. The thing you gotta remember guys is that your different lenses are completely different imaging pipelines. So you can get very, very different color reproduction from one to the next. So here's our telephoto. Here's our regular, and here's our ultra wide. Okay. So you can really see that the reds are more rich and red on this ultra wide. This is our desk pad, lttstore.com. They're a little bit more muted on both of these other ones. Man, that's a cool design, lttstore.com. Creepy. <laughs> One cool feature is it supports recording video in up to 8K, which frankly, at 24 FPS, which frankly nobody should do. Well, that's it. It's 8K on a mobile phone. Like there's no point. They just don't have the sensor size to record 8K. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To record 8K. Wow, those speakers sound pretty good. You know, that's a funny thing. They've got dual stereo speakers tuned by Harman Kardon. But Harman Kardon got bought by Samsung like ages ago. Like how weird is that going to a company that's owned by one of your primary competitors for help tuning your speakers on your phone, right? You know what? That it, there is judder cuz it's 24 FPS, but the preview is way worse than the actual recording. Right, of course, one of the features that I've been really supportive of, even though there's never been a device that's implemented it that I've been willing to actually use, is having a display on the back of the phone so that you don't really need a selfie camera, right? Because if you could just use your primary shooter every single time, why would you need like a mediocre selfie camera? This one right here is 20 megapixels, which is like, you know, fine, I guess. I could take me some selfies. You know, just like that. But what if I didn't have to do that? What if instead I could use the rear camera with their like selfie assist thing? Okay, how do I do this though? Oh, hello, how are we doing here? Why the hell would I wanna take a picture like this? But I guess, oh boy. What just, why, wait, why am I in like, am I in a video recording mode? I, what am I looking at? I guess you could just see the composition of it and all. Mm. Okay, that wakes the always on display. This has to be like a super simple thing that I'm just totally missing. Rear display, for crying out loud. It was right there the whole time. Okay, let's take the greatest selfie of all time. Now you can't really see very well what you're taking a picture of, but there's no doubt that the image quality of this selfie vastly exceeds what you can get with the actual selfie camera. I mean, look at this. I clearly need to pluck my eyebrows. I've got a serious wicked monobrow going on. Let's see if the selfie camera can catch it. 
Yeah, it's got it, but it's definitely blurrier. You see that? Very noticeable. So if you're not that into grooming, then I guess you'd probably prefer doing things the old way. <laughs> oh, I never went through the I.O. and all that. So your USB-C port for charging, got one of your speakers right here, got your dual SIM slot. Over on this side, you got a whole whack load of nothing. Over on this side, you've got, look at that, another speaker. An IR blaster, freaking love it, especially now that Logitech Harmony remotes aren't gonna be a thing. I guess we're down to using phones as universal remotes. Volume rocker, and of course, lock button. That's another interesting feature. So it's got Bluetooth 5.2, which comes with additional bandwidth, as well as some really cool functionality, including the ability to have a single source go to multiple devices. Now I wanna talk a bit more about this display. 900 nits maximum brightness under normal conditions, 1700 nits peak brightness in HDR, and support for both HDR10 Plus and Dolby Vision, which is pretty unreal. Okay, right, we're gonna have to give it a minute to not be at a craptastic bit rate here. Why you do this? I'm trying to look at a pretty display and you're ruining it, Netflix. Okay, bit rate's picking up a little bit. That looks way better. Not bad. Okay, I wanna crank these speakers though. So far, very promising. Bingo. That's too much. Pretty good. <laughs> Pretty good, good job, Samsung. <laughs> Couple other housekeeping items then. Not only is it a high refresh rate display, it supports adaptive sync, so 30, 60, 90, and 120 hertz, so it can drop down if needed. It's got IP68 water resistance, and the Gorilla Glass on the front is their Victus Glass, and then on the back, of course, ceramic, so it should be fairly drop and scratch resistant, but of course I'll leave it to the bald experts to tell us exactly uh, how it <laughs> holds up as far as that goes. I think that's pretty much it for my take. It's heavy, it's not particularly well balanced, but it is certainly flip and snappy. The screen and speakers are great and the camera's looking pretty good so far with a little bit of work required in my opinion on the color science. But other than that, I am, I am pretty darn impressed by this thing. So subscribe to Short Circuit and see more videos kind of like this or different ones. I don't know.